National Cancer Center. Uh, Arai, his topic is about super selective taste, five cc. Arai, hello. Hi, hello. Hi. Can you can you hear me? I'm Renji. Oh uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, can you uh, can you see look at my slides now? Oh please. No. Oh, yeah. Now it's okay. Can you okay. can you see the PPT? Yeah. Oh. Okay. Yes. Okay. Okay. So thank, thank you very much. Please. Yes, thank you very much for inviting me. So it's a very nice meeting. So today my talk is taste and super selective taste for SCC. So yes. So disclosure. And as you know, the history of taste is very long. Uh, the starting time is uh, 90, early 1980s and the Professor Yamada, Jiaqin Sponge TA. And the same year, Dr. Kohn reported Arterial powder injection. And 1989, that Professor Nakamura reported TOCE. It O means the oily and the repowder. And 1990, and Professor Uchida reported segmental repowder test. Segmental, it means the anterior segment, lateral segment, so on. And three years later, Professor Matsui reported sub segmental repowder test. It means uh, segment eight, segment one, the segment four, like this. And finally, 2007, my friend, Dr. Miyama reported ultra selective repository taste. So uh, uh, through the, the understanding the hemodynamics of HCC and clinical experiences, taste has changed more and more super selective. Of course, the with advances of techniques. So today I will talk about two points. The first one is what and why super selective. And then the, I would talk about the five, uh, sorry, five tips for super selective taste. So anatomy and hemodynamics is very important. This is a tumor and this is a feeding artery, but in the liver, there must be many collateral arteries and communicating branches. Through these arteries, HCC can receive blood supply. And blood coming into the HCC must go out it usually to the, go to the hepatic vein. However, this is normal anatomy. Total vein flow to the central vein and artery flow to the central vein, but this is open window. Because of that, it's possible to flow to the artery side to the portal vein side. And especially in the occlusion of hepatic artery, it is possible from portal vein side to the artery. And hypervascular HCC, not always, but some hypervascular HCC has a direct communication from, to, from the inside of a tumor to directly flow to the portal vein and sinusoid. Because of that, you please look at the right side. So we can check the single level dynamic CTHA, so-called the corner sign. So not always. However, sometimes portal veins can supply blood to HCC, especially when hepatic artery embolize. And think about the taste. This is devil taste. Very good, strong ischemic change like this. However, if there were direct communication to the portal vein and sinusoids, portal veins and sinusoids can supply blood to tumor like this. So it's uh, devotase is a high concentration exposure of anticancer agent. However, incomplete stop of blood supply from portal vein and sinusoids. As a potential blood supply after commissioner taste like this, this is the Dr. Miyama super selective A4 embolization. However, you can see A8 because there are very small, tiny communications. And also some capsule invasion and sometimes the daughter don't use and sometimes the well differentiated part receives blood supply from both and artery and the portal vein. However, think about the conventional taste. The powder, of course, is just a liquid. So penetrate deeper, deeper, and finally reach the portal vein sinusoid and sometimes diffracts to the communicating branches. And usually we embolize the feeding out with the particle like this. So, of course, early wash out of anti-cancer agent, this is a weak point of conventional taste. However, conventional taste can stop blood supply by portal vein and sinusoids. So the goal of conventional taste, this is a very famous paper by Dr. Miyayama, and the accumulation of the powder in the portal vein of the tumor is very important sign. It reads a low, very low uh, local recurrence rate. 
So this is very typical one, the hypervascular HCC, small one, and this is feeding artery. And at first we inject the, the powder anti-cancer agent emergent. And you can see, this is the repowder emergent accumulation of to the portal veins around the tumor. This is, this is a very good sign. And after that, we embryo the feeding artery using the dredging sponge and usually check the repowder accumulation using the CT images. But the super manner, actual behavior of repowder sometimes not so penetrated deeper like this. And in this situation, big parent artery, very tiny, small feeding artery, most of the part flow out to the pe big parent artery like this. Because of that, super selective manner insert each branches like this is very important. So super selective manner is try to maximize the effect to the tumor and to reduce the toxicity to normal liver. So this is a key concept. And I, today I would like to show the five tips. The first one, prepare the optimal repair doxyl with emergent using pipe pumping method like this. So usually 10 to 30 times and make the water in or emergent inside water soluble and anti agent covered by the powder like this. And like oil in water, oil drop in the water. This is a bad, 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 uh, bad scenario. And the water in oil right side is very good. And please look at, put the water. It's bad, big differences. So of course the water in oil margin is, of course it, it's much better. So making water in oil margin by pumping is the most important key issue for the effective commercial taste. So second point is seek the correct feeding artery in this case. This is a region and this is a region enhancement. And at first insert the microcluster system and check the, we can find the uh, enhancement of tumor this is not. And then move to the next artery from here, that's the duodenal artery, it's okay. And put the deeper portion and inject contrast, not enhanced. So finally we find this is the correct feeding artery, PSPDA, like this. And in this case, you can see the CTA shows a very strong uh, enhancement of the tumor. So very important point, always at first the proximal side, inject contrast, the check the enhance with the tumor, and advance like this, this is not. So this is correct way, this one. And from here, it's okay. And select this artery, only half of the tumor. So half a part and the next branch like this. And finally, this is a complete embryization like this. So key point is to seek the feeding artery efficiency, efficient, efficiently, selective contrast injection should be performed from proximal side to distal. And of course, navigation software is very, very useful. And the third point is insert a microcaster into the feeding artery. This is a standard technique with microcaster guidance, but maybe usually this is the feeding artery and you put the uh, parent uh, catheter into the proper hepatic artery and at first insert guide wire and uh, coaxially uh, advance the microcaster system and remove the guide wire and inject the contrast. And this is not the correct way. So a little bit cool back and then guide wire insert and coaxially advance the microcaster. Remove the guide wire and inject contrast like this. And also this is not correct and same manner like this, like this, and finally reach to the correct feeding artery. Like this. Of course, uncountable number of uh, inside in and guide wire and taking out of guide wire needed. And because we cannot select the artery without guide wire, and we cannot inject contrast without taking out of guide wire. Because of that, there are new various kinds of new microcaster systems, some kind of the pre-shaped tip, and right side the steel microcaster system, and the left side, long, downside the microbaronchiaster. 
So using this, for example, the pre-shaped or a silver catheters only without guide wire. And inside here, we inject very easy, we inject the contrast. And this is the correct way at advance and then inject contrast. Always we can select the correct way like this. So select the correct feeding artery with that confirmation, with the confirmation by, by contrast injection. Of course, rest stressful, eliminate the insert in and taking out of guide wire and reduce the procedure time. This is uh, in case that we use uh, this is a target artery, and in this case, we use uh, the steel microcaster system and very easily and inject contrast like this. And you can see this is too deep and really peel back. I make the uh, more acute angle and select this target artery like this and inject contrast. This is a correct feeling artery. And this is another case. Sometimes we can use micro, micro balloon casters. You can see here, big parent artery, the very, very small feeding artery. And in this case, we use micro balloon caster and another mi micro catheter. And this is the integrated balloon, distal portion, and this is another micro catheter and inject without super selective insertion of catheter. However, we could perform super selective injection like this. So, <clears throat> and also the, however, balloon caster, please take care. Like this, this might be balloon caster and without balloon inflation, blood uh, direction, the supply, blood flow direction is like this. However, sometimes if inflate balloon, blood is coming from the opposite side. So in this situation, you cannot perform good chemoembolization. So microballoon caster is a helpful device, but please don't forget that it is also a dangerous one. And number four, advance deeper and infuse slowly. This is Dr. Miyama's case. From here, he injects the contrast, however, it reflects like this. So because of that, Dr. Miyama tried to insert deeper and deeper. And very lucky he could insert the microcast the very deep portion, very close to the tumor, like this. And of course, from here, he could perform without reflex, very good chemembrization. And the result is like this. And one more week later, two years later. And another pitfall. This is a small HCC, but the area is anterior, posterior, I don't know. And this is a DSA by the right hepatic artery. And this is the CT angio from here. And this is very strong enhancement of tumor, but inserted the uh, microcaster to the anterior branch and performed CT angio, not so strong enhanced. This one. So we insert another micro balloon caster into the posterior branch and perform the from the DSA from the anterior branch, you can see right side and CT angel shows the enhancement of the, this tumor. And again, I put the microcatheter into the posterior branch and you can see no enhancement, but using micro balloon caster occlude the anterior branch, same manner from the injection, the contrast from the posterior branch, you can see the enhancement of the tumor. So situation is like this. We insert microcaster into the posterior branch. All blood coming come from anterior branch like this. And when we insert microcaster into anterior branch, all blood coming from the posterior branch. So in this case, finally we performed using uh, balloon occlusion for the uh, posterior branch. We performed the uh, chemembrization from the anterior branch. So very very important point: casterization itself may lead the change of blood flow. We should not forget this pitfall. And right, finally, the five, point five is add the particle, particle embolization. If we perform the repair alone, repair very early washout like this, 
because of that repower injection, and then we should embolize the feeding artery with particles. Usually in Asian countries, we use the gelatin sponge. This is all data that the Dr. Takayas uh, reported in 2010. You can see that a group received the repower and gelatin sponge, and, it, and its underlying is repower alone. So repower plus gelatin sponge is very, gelatin sponge additional, gelatin sponge embolization is very important. So please don't forget, Gelatin sponge embolization after the powder injection. Only the powder margin injection is not conventional test. Conventional test means the powder anti cancer agent embolization and plus additional particle embolization. So, in summary, the goal of supersective conventional test is to achieve the complete ischemia of HCC with the powder margin. The technical key issues of super safe commercial taste are to seek the correct feeding artery and super safe gentry injection using various techniques, sometimes balloon cancer, sometimes steel magnetic cancer tests, sometimes pre-shaped cancer tests, and devices. And to bring the goal is to bring the emergent to portal vein selling to HCC through the direct communication. And also, we should not forget there are some pitfalls in various techniques for super sensitive commercial taste and various devices. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you so much for giving a lecture about super selective RCC. <laughs> so, all right. Yes. Hi. Uh, how about uh, now? Where are you? In, in Tokyo or in somewhere? <laughs> in Japan, of course, in Japan, however, in North of Tokyo, and I'll be in the mountainside. <laughs> How about epidemic situation? I, yes, now the uh, rapidly increasing also in Japan, but then uh, uh, the situation is still not so uh, dangerous situation. Okay, so you know, uh, today we have the special session about uh, this, uh, mobi mobilization session this year. Yeah. Uh, next year. This year, yeah. maybe ABCL will be holding Beijing in yes. October, right? Huh? Good, good season. Yeah. Uh, of course, I think. Of I course, no, I, 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 me too. And I hope that, that, that I want to see you, all of you, yeah, yeah. face, face to hope, face. Yeah, I hope that time you will come to Beijing, not, not, uh, not uh, offline. Yeah, not, okay. Not online, okay. Offline. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. We'll face by face, right? Face, yes. Okay, okay. I hope that. So yes. Thank you very much. Bye bye. Bye bye.